Hey, what's going on guys? Exiled here. So, Apex Legends has been having a few optimization problems on PC, and hopefully they will bring a new update shortly to fix that issue. But let's start off with what settings you are going to want to get the best experience and uh, just all round best visual quality with Apex Legends. So to start off, we're gonna go into the settings. Let's start here with the gameplay tab. In interact prompt style, I'm pretty sure for you guys that would be at default. Basically what this does is it shows, you know, when you pick up an item or a weapon, with default it is just slightly larger. So I recommend putting it on compact. Compact just makes it the information on screen smaller. So pretty straightforward button hints turn them off cross here damage feedback we want x w slash shield icon keep both of them do because you want to know when you are taking someone's shield down uh, another one here is damage numbers keep that on stacking incoming damage feedback so on default i think that would be 3d this just makes it 2d it doesn't say here specifically that it will uh, reduce gpu load Pretty sure it will though, you know, it's one less thing to be rendering. All the rest of this you can just ignore. Okay, so now let's move on to mouse and keyboard. A huge thing I've been seeing lately is people's sensitivity is simply too high. I don't know what it is, uh, maybe coming from other games where you're used to a high sensitivity. But one tip I can give you is just lower it. This here is my optimal uh, sensitivity, so mouse at 1.4 and ADS mouse at 0.9. Never ever use mouse acceleration, mouse invert. I like to have my crouch as C. I always have. I don't like using control. Uh, I'd, I'd rather utilize control for something else. So see here, I've got control as my melee. Personal preference, whatever you guys wanna do. So yeah, tactical ability is Q. Our ultimate ability, ability is G. Um, G obviously used to be grenade for me. But I swapped the grenade for F, as you can see here. Inventory V, uh, very good for me. You know, it's just above space, right next to C. But like I say, guys, personal preference. You guys do what you want to do. Uh, okay, well, I'll give you a tip for controller. If you if you are playing on controller, there's nothing wrong with doing so. Go into button layout and select button puncher. This is just so much better dude it is just so much better I, it saved my ass so many times because think about it your thumb is always on the analogs you know at, at all times so it makes more sense for you to use that rather than move your thumb over the circle that split second of moving your thumb is all it takes to get you killed Response curve, this is a huge one. This is an absolutely huge one, dude. So classic, either go with classic or steady. One of those two. If you go with, what is it, high velocity, that's, it's, it's ridiculous. Like, give it a go just for a laugh because you've got to be so damn precise, man. So yeah, steady or classic. Um, look, look dead zone, completely turn that shit off. Move dead zone, small. Invert, look off. Vibration, off obviously if you like it on keep it on okay now let's get to the most important part the video settings the reason why you're watching this video if you are see i have uh put all of these back to default just so i can like run through how i have them okay so the first thing i'm going to show you guys and like one of the most important things is the resolution now obviously uh you can keep it at 16.9 native but instead of having 1920, drop it down one to 1600 times 900. Now this is going to look, uh, it's, it doesn't look quite as pretty, but as you can tell, if I apply it here, it doesn't look that bad. It really doesn't look that bad. And if you're like me and you wanna, you wanna record, uh, if you've got an Nvidia card and using shadow play, you can just set the resolution to in-game and trust me this resolution 900p uh, a lot of streamers prefer to use it when streaming 900p by 60 frames per second it looks good it looks really good and this here is going to really uh help your performance in game field of view just keep it on 90. um you can bump it up but i wouldn't suggest going past 100. I, I like a bit of a higher field of view, but uh, yeah, it can it can really impact your performance. 
Okay, so VSync, uh, turn it off. Disable VSync altogether. Adaptive resolution target, leave it at zero. Uh, you can do a command line, which I'll show you shortly, to cap your frames or to actually make them unlimited if you've got a decent system. Anti-aliasing, we're gonna leave this on TSAA. There is only one option. There's just having none at all, or there's just having that. And uh, that just smooths edges. It just makes things just look a little nicer. This one here is a huge, huge setting, guys. This is going to really, really impact you if you are on a lower range system. So even though my graphics card has six gigabyte of VRAM, it's apparently not recommended to still go past four. But you'll notice once I jump into training that there's not a huge difference between four and two to three. There's not a huge difference. The main thing you guys are gonna wanna do though is keep the texture filtering at 16 times. The ambient occlusion, turn that off. You can have low on, just if you want better performance, just turn the damn thing off. Sun shadow coverage, this is all to do with shadows, which use a lot of GPU. Uh, sun shadow detail, disable it. Volumetric lighting, these two things here use a lot of GPU. And uh, dynamic uh, even uses a bit extra CPU, so just turn them both off. Model detail, now model detail, put that on medium. Effects detail, put that on medium. Impact marks, put that on low and ragdolls, put that on medium. It's up to you, you guys can really muck around with this. One thing though I've noticed is I can't, uh, it won't, my model detail won't stay on medium. Uh, it always jumps back to high. So if I apply it, go back, back, I'm pretty sure, yeah. I don't know how to fix that. I don't know why, why that's happening. Another thing I noticed guys, I didn't know this was a thing, but you can actually, uh, What's it called? Check out your grenades by holding in. I know, it's so weird, but I just think it's such a cool thing. Also, if you get rid of everything, you can click your knuckles. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just adding this in because I really thought that was cool. So at the moment, this is playing. Yeah, it's playing really nicely. It's really good. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the difference with this texture streaming budget because this is what I was trying to say earlier. It's not a big deal, guys. So what are we on at the moment? As you can see, uh, we are on, yeah, 2 to 3 gigabyte VRAM uh, texture stream budget. Watch this. Watch me turn it to none. There's literally not that much of a difference. And as you can see here, it actually has boosted my frames. Now I'm getting a steady 144 with small dips to the 138 range. But it has helped. It's helped a lot. As you can tell though, the, uh, the textures on the weapon, I mean, it doesn't look as HD. But we are trying to get the best performance we can get. You don't have to necessarily turn the texture streaming budget off. I mean, you'd probably be fine having it a bit further up at two, two to three or even four. It just depends on obviously uh, how much VRAM your card has. And also, you know, it, it definitely depends on what type of rig you have. So let's just put it on very low just for this video. Um, and it gives us a little bit of a better look. Let's see, as you can tell here, so that's a little bit better. Uh, and as you can see at the top though, just from doing that, my frames, yeah, see we're getting a little bit of what's well, actually quite a big frame drop. Going from 144 to the lowest dip of 138. So yeah, to under 130. Okay, so now for the out of game uh, options that you can change to make your game run slightly better. All right, guys, so this is the out of game uh, options that you can change to get a better frame rate. So once you're in Origin, you just want to right click on Apex, go down to Game Properties, and here at Advanced Launch Options, you can see I have capped my frame rate at 144. But what you can do instead 
is you can put unlimited. You just simply type unlimited next to it. Save that. I don't recommend this if you're on a like a medium rig. Um, one forty-four frames is more than enough. You could even cap it lower. You know, you could cap it at sixty if you really wanted to. Uh, it wouldn't be as good, but you'd probably get a very steady gameplay. So even though you may get you know a few more frames, on average, it looks to me like it's better to cap it at a maximum of one forty-four, depending on your system. In my case, I might even cap it lower. I might even just cap it at 120. Uh, I don't have a 144 hertz monitor. I've only got a 60, unfortunately. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't really matter to me as long as I get a smooth gameplay. So the last out of game setting I'm going to show you guys is to do with your configuration folder for the game. Uh, I'll walk you through this at the moment. There is a few things you can change, but I recommend only changing two of these options. Okay, so as you can see, those frames are just simply not steady enough for my liking. So I'm going to go back to the folder. I'm going to go to Game Properties, Launch Options, and I'm going to change Unlimited to 120. I think that is a good number for me. Like I said, I don't have a 144 hertz monitor. 120 should be my golden spot. So let's save that. Okay, so now for the last part of this video, um, this is more of a setting that you can do if you like really want to optimize the game I you, I mean you don't have to do this if what I've shown you so far is getting your game running good And you've got no problems no starter no lag just just ignore this part and uh, finish the video But if you are interested, I'll walk you through it right now Also, I will be leaving every little detail down in the description below I've made a little thing about it here that you guys can follow yourself uh, if you you know want to show a friend or something so well I'll walk you through it by reading this at the moment so you want to go to this PC you want to go to driver C that's what you know for me it's my main one with the operating system on go to users go to, to your name down to saved games respawn the creators of apex apex local and then this folder here video config just click on that and as you can see here we've got a bunch of different settings for the game now the two settings i recommend to change are setting.csm underscore enabled and setting.r underscore lod underscore switch underscore scale uh, the top one, this one here, will affect the in-game shadows, which has a huge impact on the GPU. And the LOD scale one uh, actually affects the character models. So generally, when you go to the setting uh, LOD switch scale, it'll either be set to 0.6 or in my case, 0.8. Now you can really do whatever you want with this. I don't recommend going over the default number, but you can go under all the way to changing it to zero. Uh, beware if you do this though, your characters are going to look terrible. And I mean like PlayStation 2 graphics. So I recommend maybe four or five. You could go down to maybe three, four. It's all personal preference. Just muck around with it and see how you go so if you want to do this um, we will start with the LOD switch scale so setting dot R underscore LOD switch scale I really am not sure why mine is sitting at 1 when I last checked it was sitting at 0 0.8 so I don't know why it's that low I wouldn't recommend having it that low um, maybe just put that on 4 Okay, so where it says settings.csm underscore enabled, it will have a one. You just want to go ahead and change that to zero. Uh, this is going to just lower the shadow quality a bit and get you better performance. After changing these two things, you can change more, but I don't recommend doing anything like this if you really, really don't know what you're doing. After doing so, you just want to go up to the file and just click save. Like I said earlier though, if you guys followed this tutorial and everything was working for you without having to do this last little bit, 
then just completely ignore it and have fun playing your optimized game. Well, as optimized as we can get it so far. I'm hoping they'll bring out a decent update shortly that will help us out a bit uh, with optimizations. Anyway guys, that's the end of this video tutorial guide thingy, but I really do hope it helped you guys out. I will be leaving all the information in the description below. If you enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will be seeing you in the next video. Peace.